Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon and good evening. Hope you guys are doing well. So today in this video, we are going to create instant flow and we will see what is involved in instant flow. So our steps will be create an instant flow, click button in that instant flow, that button will call an action and that action will send an email to my Outlook email address. If I say in one line, in the end we will see we will have an instant flow and that instant flow will send an email to my Outlook email ID. So first of all, what is instant flow? Instant flows are triggered by a person. Typically pressing a button with an app that would make this flow start. In other words, instant flows are triggered manually or on demand, such as user clicking a flow button in the mobile app. So instant flow will be triggered manually. It is it will not be running after every specific period of time like we have a schedule flows for that it will not be running on any event of like creation of records or updation of records like we have automated flows for that so this instant flow is triggered by a person or triggered manually or on demand something like when user clicks button in mobile app. So let's start to create this instant flow. Click over here new. You will see instant dash from blank. Click over here and you can have name send email from instant flow you can have any name whatever you like and you will see over here manually trigger a flow flow button for mobile select this click on create now you have triggered ready with you manually trigger a flow it means when you run this flow you will have button and you will click on that button then the action will start running and what would be action in our in this flow as i mentioned earlier in this video we will send an email to my outlook email address it means we will need outlook connector click over here new select oh uh, search outlook so you will have these type of connectors and we will use out office 365 outlook so after selecting this Outlook connector, we will have different actions from here, from this list. At this moment, we need this send email. If you want to read about these actions in detail, you can go over here, the small I icon, I stands for information over here. Click, you will see a little one line description and if you want to read more detail you can click this learn more it will take you to the microsoft website directly to this action just click this and you will see outlook 365 office outlook 365 so see send email i click over here and it took me directly to this action send an email here's a little description here are the parameters you can read as per your requirement you can use and you can go to any other function as well action as well let's suppose create and create contact click over here learn more it will go it will take you directly to create contact action See, 
create a contact. So it is good practice before using any action. You can go to the Microsoft site and read about that action in detail. Okay, so in this action, we will use send an email. Click this action and put email address. My email address is this. You can type your subject. Sorry, test subject from instant flow. You can put a body like test body from instant flow as well. So now your flow is ready you will click button as per this trigger as per the instant flow and that trigger will start running this action and you will receive an email in your mailbox let's save click over here flow checker just to see if there is any error or warning so zero error zero warning Close this, test, I will perform the trigger action, so it will ask you, it will prompt you for to use Outlook, then you can click over here, continue, now you will click run flow, it, this button will start running flow and you will see done. So as soon as it runs, do you see or see you will see over here I have received an email. Test subject from instant flow, test body from instant flow. And we can check over here as well. This is the trigger and this is action. This is this was my email address, this was subject, and this was body. So again, I would like to repeat, as instant flows are triggered by a person, or instant flows are triggered manually or on demand. As you saw, I clicked button, then this flow started running. And you can have different buttons on your mobile application, and you can set different flows behind those button to send email, to create any record uh, like in dynamics or you can send email you can send messages to your ms teams when you click on that button so there are different ways or there are different actions different connectors you can use as per your requirement but the most important thing over here like these are triggered by a person and or triggered manually or on demand I can show you instant flow again. Go back to the screen, click edit over here. So again, this is my trigger and this is my action. And you can see in action I used Outlook connector and I sent an email. You can have different actions, you can use different actions in Outlook as well. So this is how we create an instant flow and uh, I would like to have your feedback please on this video if it is possible for you guys. If this video helps you, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed and keep learning. Thank you.